Hello everyone. So till now we have configured our records as well and the uh, travel reimbursement form as well where the users can actually fill the details and this is the record where uh, the HR can see like all the details of the user. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous parts, uh, I would request like you can go and watch the previous parts uh, to get a clear idea. Okay, in this video now we are going to uh, act, we are going to design our uh, list a bit better. We don't want all these details at once. We will design it in a much better way. So let's try and we'll go to uh, record list is already open. So we'll go to the edit list and we'll see what are the fields do we want and some field we don't want so some of the fields that are there we don't want for example date logged is there that we don't want let's remove it a requested for is there we don't want HR approval let's keep it here total cost is fine comments are not important description we won't put it there phone number as well is uh, not required and uh, let's uh, remove the email part as well okay so till now we have configured employee id will be there name will be there total cost will be there and uh, uh, hr approval will be there okay so now what we want to do is in hr approval instead of uh, displaying true or false what we can do is we can put some rich text icon there so that if it is approved then it will show in green color if it is not approved then it will show like in red color like that it will look uh, it, it will look a bit better and before that we have also have to change this uh, name and total cost proper spacing is not there okay let's try to do it let's start with this empty okay grid message will be no data to show fine and how many records we want to display only 10 records we want to display fine and let's get back to our all the columns first of all and we'll say EI is fine and here employee okay employee ID and after that name is fine total cost so total cost will keep it like this HR approval so instead of HR approval we'll put it approved okay just approved is fine so now our you can see now it looks a bit better employee ID name total cost and this okay reimbursement uh, we can put the total cost uh, in some other name as well instead of that okay amount uh, so we'll just put it something as amount okay now that is done after that what we want to do is in here we want to uh, add a rich text icon so let's go into directly that field only approved okay so what we want to do is in the value field if you go in the this help toolkit so here you will find that in the value you can see a lot of fields it can be added here some are uh, image field is there link rich text is there tag button array layout all these fields are there so let's go and add something here as a rich text icon okay so we'll put the value in so first of all we will add a bank rich text uh, display field okay in that what we want to add in the value field is a bank rich text icon okay so we want to display two icon like if it is approved something like checkbox should be there if it is not then something like a cross should be there so in the value i have want to select the icon so if you go to the icon you will see a lot of icon will be available in here okay so a lot of icon will be available in here so uh, i know one icon name is check check circle so check circle icon is there so we can search that here as well but we only want to display the check circle if so if uh, if we bang row if we bang row is used to denote that a particular row if we bang row and then we are putting tr uh, okay or we can huh, tr travel we can write here we will directly get our names so let's delete it that way or we can write record type as well dot field is what HR approval so if HR approval is true 
then which icon we want to say okay this icon has came so we want to say something like check circle so if you see here this is kind of the check circle that I want so I will go to here check circle otherwise what we want to display so there is another icon called something as times so you can see here I want to display something like this times okay so we want to display times so icon is done hmm. color should also be there so the same condition we will apply for the color as well so what we will do is we will copy the condition from here and we'll paste the condition here no need to configure anything now and we only have to configure what is true so if it is true then it should be kind of what is the color value that they keep it the color value that is available is positive yeah so we'll keep it positive otherwise negative P -O -S -I -T -A -V -E. positive otherwise we'll keep it negative positive and negative are done let's test our list how it looks huh so if you can see here now it is looking a bit better so this is done okay and let's save our changes and let's go to the record list and let's refresh our site so now we can see our the new changes will reflect here so yeah so now the new changes are reflecting employee id smith wilson amount was 900 and status is what approved now if we click any employee id nothing is getting displayed so let's to configure the summary view let's go back to our application travel reimbursement okay fine and this time we will configure the interface as a tr uh, just write it reimbursement uh, summary so summary view is done let's click on create okay our interface is created successfully uh, we don't need that style icon okay so in the interface uh, we will uh, this is for summary view we don't want any rule inputs uh, anything to write or edit nothing so we just put a card header layout so that we can add components here and now in this year we will add our columns layout as well so that we can add the values and what are the different values that we have needed uh, so in the uh, data model you can see there are a lot of fields that are available we want to display all the fields in the whenever anybody click on that uh, employee id all the data of this employee id will be visible there so first of all we will go and configure the rich text here. okay text field here and this text field as well okay so all these fields will be read only by default we don't want in the summary view we don't have to edit anything at all so first of all let's write here as employee id okay and level position will be edges adjacent level position we have kept adjacent and read only read only okay read only is true okay and for the value to display uh, we have not configured any rule inputs so in the rule input directly uh, let's type it something as uh, travel record travel record will put it and in the data type we already have configured a record type so we will use the record type to create our data types that will be much easier way okay so let's search this and we have got the record type as well we got the value as well so value will be what rule input travel record and then we'll use this one and tr travel is there so tr we don't need to write it so we'll delete the tr record dot uh, what is the field employee id will reflect it here and let's put a comma now our employee id is ready so now uh, the same thing we have to do for the other fields as well we just have to change this so let's put the from the year to value will copy it and in the uh, label label position a label is covered label position okay so here we'll paste it and in second one we will write the name position is true and here as well 
will write the field as name that's it so our two fields has been configured okay now let's go back to the design mode and we'll copy the same fields again so it will become a bit easier for us duplicate it and here also we'll use duplicate okay so two fields have now been duplicated so one field ha huh. so employee id is done and in this employee id what we want to put is uh, we will put a email email id and in here as well we will put the email id as well and in name we have put the name that is fine in the second name we will put it a uh, phone number phone number and here as well we'll put it phone number phone okay so all these details have now been done now we will configure these were the basic details of the employee now we will configure the more details what were the more details so in here we can see till phone we have configured we need a description uh, we need the comments total cost all these fields so again we will put a section layout here okay uh, let's put the section layout here let's delete this part of section layout and in the section layout we'll put uh, something as a paragraph field for the description okay that is done and uh, for the HR comments as well we'll uh, use then a side by side layout to put the both the things together so in here we will put this as well and will duplicate it for the HR comments as well when we will use it for the description when we use it for HR comments total cost so total cost as well we can configure here uh, with some text box okay in this section this is the total cost part and uh, HR has approved it not so that uh, we can also configure requested for date logged so when it was requested so requested for so it is it will store the requested for details and it will store the uh, it will store the date logged so all these fields are there so we can put a simple column layout somewhere and try to shorten the length as well so this field will go date field will go in this one date and time will go in this one total cost is fine now let's configure the values so we have okay this paragraph will label and label position let's paste our value and in place of the paragraph we will write a description and this one will become our description description field is done okay similarly we'll do for this one as well and now this time we'll copy okay fine we will use our previous value only okay so now after this description what we want to write is comments so if any comments has been there so that we will write it and here as well we'll select the comments part that that as well is done so comments is done and now the text part will become the total amount total amount and uh, let's uh, put it something like uh, this is paste and put here total amount now total amount okay and let's put it total cost total amount that is as well done and this is date field is there so for date field as well what we will do is uh, requested for requested for and here we will use the field as requested for that is done and date and time okay submitted on we can write something like this so we will write there submitted on submitted on okay and we'll 
use the field as a date logged yeah so all this is fine so requested for is there submitted on has been done so two things has been done okay so this submitted on if we have kept it here how does it look fine it we can keep it here only or we can keep it below this column as well fine no need for that okay fine let's save our changes huh, if we want to add anything in the card layout that as well we can add it or we can change the color as well for our card layout okay and let's try to give it a semi rounded shape and all fine let's save our uh, changes and we'll go back to our travel site go to views and header to add our summary view there so here uh, configure the view manually okay and here we have to rule bang we have to write our interface name for the summary so this is the interface name okay and to refer something in the interface we can see here there are some domains available so rv bang so if you see here it is used to reference the record variables so we will use rv bang record let's try to save the value here okay and save our changes there and we'll go back to our hr site and refresh the page okay so if we refresh our page and we will see how does our summary view looks so we'll click on the employee and we can see all those all the details are fine summary description is there uh, total amount how much is the amount so that's all we can add in our uh, interface so that's all we have configured the summary view as well thank you